all right what's up uh, I'm here to show you a little bit of what I got from my game collection so I'm gonna run through and just kinda show some things off that uh, I've got is just for games not really doing any console just some of the games I got mostly because I'm bored so over here we've got Ninja Gaiden 2, 3, Turtles Mega Man games, Castlevania most of you know what those are up there is a cleaning kit to uh, Roma packs for Dreamcast plus the box for Seaman a uh, complete unboxed Mario paint pretty rough condition but uh, it's a bigger box so it looks pretty then over here we got some of my favorite Super Nintendo games you know Super Metroid we got a little Romance of Three Kingdoms arguably the best of the series Legion of Gaia which is pretty sweet because you can usually pick this up for like eight bucks at like the most expensive price for it if you want just cartridge and it's a great game Zelda I need to get a label upgrade on mine Mega Man 7 Turtles in Time Lufia 2 and you say Lufia 2 because you have to play Lufia 2 first then Lufia 1 then over here in these bags which I went to a game store and instead of uh, putting stickers on the games they would put them on the bag so I was pretty soaked about that so I kept the bags and I use them to hold expensive games in so Earthbound Mega Man 7 which um, I only paid like $14.50 for this game at play and trade with the really only damage being that top piece of the label so I was pretty stoked about that and here's my Final Fantasy 2 and Final Fantasy 3 which Final Fantasy 3 is like my favorite game of all time I have three copies of Chrono Trigger I have two of them right here and I've got one in box that I'll get to later and Secret of Mana which I traded Magic the Gathering cards for and uh, Legend of uh, the Seven Stars Super Mario RPG fantastic game what Mystic Quest uh, should have been even though I do love Mystic Quest I will not lie so down here we've got some of uh, Sega games you know you gotta have your uh, Streets of Rage 2 my favorite beat em up that's right fuck Final Fight Streets of Rage 2 you know but I've got all that random stuff you know Fatal Fury so like that over here you got like Road Rash I have a copy of Shaq Fu and uh, not uh, not getting rid of it not gonna destroy it Game Genie some 32x games nothing nothing super super important just uh, standard games well there's Knuckles Chaotix which is arguably the best game for the 32x and um, here's the 32x it's a little dusty I haven't used it in a long time I need to re-get the cords Sega Dreamcast controller over here we got you know Sonic 2 which is probably the easiest to get Game Gear game Road Alarm for Virtual Boy I don't own a Virtual Boy but I got it in an extra as a trade I was doing with a friend of mine so you know fuck it why not Game Genie that's had the tabs broken out so I can uh play Super Famicom games um thank you to people at Racket Boy for uh telling me how to do this so it's the only Super Famicom game I have currently and uh over here we have the the board for Jaws for the NES the uh plastic broke um I still had the front piece I want to do something with it but I kept the board cause I figured you know neat just have a board laying around so down here, we've got the NES games. Right here we've got Little Samson, which I'm going to take out because my cartridge is in really, really good condition. Really, really clean copy. Not much dam damage to it. You can't see the contacts that good here, but they, they look beautiful. Like this thing was n rarely played. My grandfather found it at a flea market for... Uh, like he got this and like a bunch of other games for like five bucks in total you know I'm gonna call that no more number sometime soon so that the only the only damage is right there you can see the little nick right there 
That's about the only damage the card has. So other than that, great condition. It stays in this little plastic case. And this is a, uh, I've actually got Contraforce in here, but the cool thing I want to show you is this was a rental case, so it's got the, like, instructions they printed out on how to play Mega Man 3. I used to have my Mega Man 3 in it. Dragon Warrior 4. And then you just got your standard NES games. Everything that uh, a man could want. Not all of them. Well, not all of them. Because I don't, I don't fucking have all of them. So, down here we've got Super Nintendo games. Gotta have Doom. I want Doom on every system, so trying for that one. I'm still looking for the Atari Doom. But, you know, Super Advantage, Super Game Boy. But I got all those. And down on this very, very bottom shelf, we got 64 games. And, like, those are Atari games with, you know, E.T. and Star Fox. That kind of stuff. Gotta have a little Spider-Man in your life. And then we've got... Again, hard to see down here. Let me switch over. There we go. We got some television games right here. You know, Beauty and the Beast, which has nothing to do with the Disney one. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Masters of the Universe, Power of He-Man, Mystery Cart. I have no idea what this is. So. That one has remained a mystery. And then down there, you know, Burger Time, Tron's Deadly Disc. Stuff like that. Down there, you got Donkey Kong, Qbert, Carnival, uh, Stampede. Stuff like that. And then 64 games. I'm not a big 64 fan. Uh, it's like my least favorite fun console. Like, down here is like my least favorite stuff. Just, I don't play in television or Atari or 64 that much. Love for the system. Uh, you know, I love old gaming, but those are probably my least favorite. That's why they got the bottom shelf. So, those... That's one bookshelf down. I'll come back and do another one for the other bookshelf. We'll get into the box games and uh, some of the other stuff. So, see you soon.